You guys rolling? Are we? We are now. Ready. Legal experts across the country and all over the world are fascinated by medical malpractice suits you have filed against your surgeon, Dr. Shelley Romero. In your own words, can you tell us what happened? Sure. Uh, I was excited to hear that I'd been moved first in line for my new heart transplant. Good news, Luke. You are now first in line for the next available heart transplant. Yes! 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 Oh, oh my heart. tell me anything about whose heart I'm getting? Well, you are receiving the heart of a 22-year-old man. He was a world-class triathlete. He won last year's Tour de France. He was an avid marathon runner and had just begun free climbing. Well, how did he die? He fell off a mountain. So I went to the doctor for my two-week post-op checkup. Well, Luke, how are you feeling? Well, doctor, I do have a couple of concerns. First, I noticed I could bench a lot more weight than I could before. No, Luke, not that light, that light. Yes, that light right there. Luke, watch out, you're getting too close to the edge. Oh my God! <laughs> Luke, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Interesting. Let me check a couple things. Well, Doc, what is it? Well, Luke, you have no heartbeat. Your pupils are fixed and dilated, and your body temperature is 70 degrees. What does that mean? You're dead. I'm dead? Well, technically I'm dead. Well, like a zombie or something? Hey, hey, hey. We don't say the Z word around here. Well, this is just perfect. Do you have any idea how this happened? Well, come to think of it... No, Mom, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving again. No, I had it last year and the year before. Tell Debbie to host it. Oh, boo-hoo. Last year, her five rats totally trashed my place and that idiot dog of theirs pooped everywhere. No way. No, she and that Debbie Todd can roast a turkey and mash some potatoes. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm done arguing. I have a heart transplant to perform. Bring up high. After that, things really went downhill. Luke! Do you have any idea what happened to the 150 pounds of grade A prime hamburger we had in here? Uh... You're fired! Then he got cut from the swim team. No, I am not rescuing him again. I had to fish him out six times yesterday, three times today. No, he could just float there for all I care.
We're over. I can't date a zombie. Hey, what do we say about the Z word? Things really sucked, so I went to speak to my guidance counselor for some, you know, guidance. So, that's my story. Oh, that, that, that's a really interesting situation you're dealing with there. I mean, how should I deal with this? I mean, I doubt there's like some pamphlet that tells me how to deal with this sort of thing, but anything would help. Um, hang on. Um, anxiety, depression, eating disorders, trauma, vaping. Oh, oh, yes! That'll help. Chapter one. Do you feel dead inside? Give me a break. Thankfully, my lawyer settled my case with my doctor. She admitted her mistake and I got another heart. So doctor, whose heart am I getting today? Better not be another zombie. This heart comes from a 25-year-old man. He was very quiet, smart, and stealthy. He possessed an indomitable will, and he was a devoted son and brother. So it's been two weeks and I feel great. Well, that's fantastic, and thanks for your time and telling your story. Thanks for having me. I gotta go meet my old babysitter and talk about the old times. of hers set my Christmas tree on fire. No, I didn't see them do it. Because they posted it on TikTok, that's how I know. Listen, Mom, we are not doing it at my house again. You host it this year. I'm hanging up now. I have a heart transplant to perform. Fine, I'll bring up high. <laughs> 